Hey everyone, today I'm at Naguagan State Park, heading down to the beach with my kayak, which is behind me here. And uh, the goal is to paddle to Bird Island, which is, I think it was about two and a half miles from here, uh, going to the north towards uh, South Point. So I'm gonna get there right away. I'm not gonna hunt for rocks on the way because the wind's supposed to come up a little bit later, so I'll hunt for rocks on the way home. So here we go. Couldn't ask for a much nicer morning than this. Uh, I'm heading north right now. There's no rocks right near the parking lot here. It's all sand, which is nice if you like sandy beach. I don't like sandy beaches. So it's about, I don't know, about a mile if you go north from here until you find some rocks. I'm going to change my estimate about how far the rocks are. Um, it's the first point where the rocks start, so maybe a half mile, maybe less. But it's uh, definitely a rocky shoreline here. Big rocks. I don't know if they're the kind you can collect so much, but uh, there are rocks. I'm out a ways from shore because I'm cutting across this bay. But I can still see bottom. It's deep, but I can see bottom. I'm going to stick my GoPro down there and uh, show you the bottom. I'm coming up on South Point here. This is the South Point of Thunder Bay. This is the Thunder Bay that's in Lake Huron, not the Thunder Bay in Lake Superior. Uh, Thunder Bay is where the town of Alpena is. That's where I live. I'm just coming around South Point, and there is Bird Island straight in front of me there. I'm almost there. Here we are. Water's really deep. I haven't been able to see the bottom for most of the way across here. And I still can't see the bottom. So maybe I can see it just a little bit now. So about a month ago, I called up the Michigan Nature Association who owns this island and asked if it was okay if I walked on the island. I can legally paddle around it, but uh, I, I wanted permission before I walked on it. And uh, they said to wait until August because the birds were nesting out here and they didn't want the nest disturbed. They said there were a couple dozen egrets out here nesting and a couple dozen, wow, there's really big rocks in the bottom right here. A couple dozen uh, black-crowned night herons. I'm sure there's a lot of seagulls too. It's like a beach ball or something up there. It's really orange on the beach. I see an egret behind those dead trees, kind of off to the left a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Some of the answers off to my right, scooting out of here. Oops. 
I'm not going to get too close, but there are a lot of egrets in there. if it's worth getting out here or not. This is the only part of the island where it's really got rocks, so I think I'm just going to paddle close to shore and take a look at them. Let's we'll see what that orange thing is up there. It's a buoy. So I'm gonna leave it here, maybe somebody that lost it will find it. That's sure what it's for. Well from here I'm gonna paddle straight. Oh, there's a pike. Nope, it's not a pike. What is it? Big fish. Thank you, a pike. Let's see if we can get it on camera. I'm gonna paddle straight into shore. This would be the north side of South Point. I've never hunted rocks here. It looks sandy, but who knows? We'll get closer and find out. It's been nothing but sand almost all the way to shore here. And uh, then I just saw a few rocks, and well, there's a few I just went over. Still mostly sand. Oh, more rocks. Everything's pretty well covered in sediment, so you can't really see what they are. But I don't think there's going to be any good rock hunting right here. I see rocks. There's Bird Island right out there. Lots of rocks. A couple pudding stones. This uh, just has some white stuff in it. This one has a little piece of jasper. There's zebra mussels here. Look at that. There are a bunch on that rock I just picked up. They're zebra mussels. They're an invasive species. They're one of the reasons the water is so clear. Look at this really pretty little bay. It looks like a sandy beach, but right in the water here, there are rocks. 
and there it is. This uh, Petoskey stone and whatever this is right next to it. That's kind of neat. And then a nice little Petoskey stone. So that's a good sign there was going to be more. Oh, there's a pudding stone. It's a nice little tumbler size. Okay, time to do some hunting. Look at the big vein in that one. There's a water snake. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, I like snakes, so it's fun for me. I feel like I should say something like crikey and then grab it. Oop, under the kayak. And he's off. Here's a big pudding stone. This small piece of jasper in it, but kind of fun to see. A lot of cracked up rocks like this along here. I keep seeing them. I don't know why they amuse me, but they do. That's how big rocks turn into little rocks. Or at least one of the ways. Well, that's colorful. That, I don't know what that is. That's feldspar in there or something else? Hey, the rocks are fizzling out here a little bit. Well, they're still here, but they're all, they're all the same color. So I think it's time to get in the boat. Paddle around the point. Oh, there's a dog. Hopefully there's a person with it. This dog's following me down the beach. Good rocks along the beach there. I'm kind of afraid of the dog. Is that a pit bull? I don't know. Owners are up there having a picnic. All right, I just talked to the owners of the dog. They're camping up there. Said the dog's safe. There's a little Petoskey stone. That was a pretty good one. It was a really good one to go on the boat. Interesting circle on there. I've made it back to South Point. See the wind's coming up a little bit. Nice and calm here. A little bit of chop over there, nothing bad. The rocks are a little cleaner here, at least in shallow. That one's cool. It's like feldspar crystals in that. Well, maybe I'd sit down and have lunch, but uh, yuck. Looks like somebody else has been sitting there. The water's a little scummy here, but I just noticed a Tosky stone on top of that rock there. Here's another one. Any 
scientific name for that is hexagonaria. Somebody's life jacket here. So what do you do? Do you pick it up? Because it probably floated in here. Or do you leave it and hope that they find it? I don't think they're going to find this one. So I think I'll pick it up. little shallow spot right here. It's kind of fun to watch the waves. They look like they're coming from two different directions and kind of cross. Let's we'll see if there's any rocks out here. Oh, there's a big pudding stone. Mainly on this one end, there's a lot of jasper. It's an interesting fossil. Never seen one quite like that. Looks a little bit like chain coral in some places, but I don't think it's chain coral. Look, there's a Petoskey stone. Yeah, on the back of one. Just stepped over this nice Petoskey. That might be a keeper. In the boat she goes. See a pudding stone under this branch. It's a pretty good one. I think that's going in the boat too. really caught my eye. Not a lot of bright reds on it, but some pretty colors. Rocks are pretty covered in gunk out there. Covered in trees right here. That's a cool one. That's really neat.
that's pretty cool with all the pits. And then there's a piece of Cladopora right next to it. See the fossils there? Some sort of a coral fossil. It's got some neat speckles on it. More Goganda tillite. The last time I was on this beach, there was about three feet of ice. It was last winter with my son-in-law, David. We came out here and uh, had to jump down off the ice to get into the water. There are these huge floating snowballs in the water. If you missed that video, you should go back and watch it. It's really cool. Looks like somebody else was here collecting rocks, or at least looking at them. Big pudding stone up on the beach. And then this cool looking thing. Oh, another pudding stone underneath it. Look at that. I think that's, that needs to get wet. A lot of you mentioned how relaxing my videos are. Uh, if you think the videos are relaxing, you should try being here. I am uh, very relaxed right now. Beautiful day, kind of hazy, but that's okay. It's getting pretty warm. So if you missed the video from last winter with the giant floating snowballs, I highly recommend it. I think it's really cool. So I'll link it here and I'll see you next time.